pull a rope in a tug of war. Team A is gaining over Team B since the rope is moving in their direction at a constant rate of 0.01 meters per second. The tension in the rope is 4,460 uh, 4, newtons. How much power is expended by Team A? Okay, so if we have our rope, let's get decent color for a rope. There's our rope. And let's just imagine in a tug of war, they usually hung, uh, hang a, a piece of cloth here in the center. Okay, so we have a piece of cloth in that center. Team A is pulling in that direction, P Team B is pulling in this direction, and we notice that this point, this point right here, is moving in the direction of A at a velocity of 0 0.01 meters per second, okay? And that the tension in the rope, okay, is, well, tension doesn't really have direction in a rope, but um, tension means it's the force exerted on the rope, which means both A and B are both of them exerting the same amount of force of 4,460 newtons in opposite direction. Why do I say both of them? Isn't Team A exerting more? Okay, no. Okay, Team A is not exerting more force than Team B because it's at a constant rate. Velocity is constant, which means that um, the force exerted by A and B is the same because the net force is zero. Okay, usually we, in these type of questions, we can ignore uh, the weight of the rope. Okay, so we are asked the power expended by A. Okay. In other words, what is the force exerted by A in the direction of motion, which in this case is, in, is, is simply in the same direction as tension. Okay. It's not difficult at all because we see we have this lovely power formula. Power is force t uh, in the direction that's parallel to motion okay, multiplied by the velocity in that direction. And the force is simply 4, 4, 6, 0 times the velocity, which is 0 0.01. Not difficult at all. And I can actually do this in my head. The comma moves two spaces. So this is 44.6 watts.